Okay, so in this video, we are going to be filling in the logic for the following function here. So this is called is circular linked list. And basically you can tell from the name of the function is it's going to take an input list. So this could be a singly linked list or a circular linked list in this case we'll be considering. And this function will return true if the list that we're inputting into this function is circular. And otherwise, if it's a singly linked list, it'll output false. So I've gone ahead and already created a circular linked list object creating um, from the class that we've been working with thus far in this video series. And I've just appended some data onto that list so the list is not empty. So another thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to be porting in the linked list class from the singly linked list series of videos. And that's mostly going to be so we can verify that this function will appropriately fail or return false on a singly linked list and will appropriately return true on a circular linked list. So I'm just going to go ahead and go up to this top of the file here. Both the circular linked list class and the regular singly linked list class both will make use of this node class. The node class actually won't change, so it'll be the same for both types of lists. And I've already got this on my clipboard, so I'm just going to go ahead and paste the linked list class again that we've been that we wrote in the singly series. And if you don't want to write this out, pause the video or anything like that, don't worry. I've got the code for all of the videos hosted on my GitHub and there will be a link in the description below if you just want to go ahead and copy that code. So again, this linked list class is probably from one of the earlier videos where we introduced the singly linked list data structure. Therefore, it just has some of the most basic functionality. That is, it just has the functionality to create the list, to print the list, and also to append items to the list as well. So let's go back down to the bottom of the file. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a linked list object as well using much the same convention as we did there. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in. Oops, I didn't get all that. I'm going to go ahead and take this, paste it down here. And I'm going to be creating a linked list object. So I'm going to get rid of that C and I'm going to change this to just be linked list. So we have a singly linked list at the bottom and a circular linked list here. And both of them have elements one through four. So let's go ahead and start think, thinking about how we can fill in the logic for this function. So one differentiating factor between a circular linked list and a singly linked list is really kind of given by the name of these two data structures, namely a circular linked list. When we get to the end of the list, it's circular. So it goes back to the head of the list and starts over again. A singly linked list will start from the beginning and then we'll get to the last node. And then after the last node, that one points to null. So that's kind of the key feature that we're going to use to exploit to determine whether or not the input list that we're given here in this function is either circular or singly. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just make two different calls using the two different types of objects we created here. So I'm going to say print is, I'm going to say print uh, C list because this is part of the circular linked list class dot is circular. And then I'm going to go ahead and pass in the circular linked list object. And we're going to do the same thing but now I'm just going to pass in the linked list object. So we should see true for this one and then we should see false for that one. So going back to filling in the content of this function, basically what we want to do is we want to check whether or not we, we approach the head node again. So if we go all the way through the list and we hit null, we know it's a singly linked list. Otherwise, if we go back to the head node after going through the nodes, then we know that we're in a circular linked list. So let's go ahead and code this up. So first what we can do is we can set a pointer to the head of the current list that we were passed in. So we'll say current is equal to input list.head. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to keep moving this pointer down throughout the list. And if we encounter that the next pointer of this node is the head of the list, we know that we have a circular linked list because it's pointing back to the head and therefore it's circular. Otherwise, if we hit null, if we don't hit head again, then we basically have a singly linked list. So that's all we'll, we'll need to check in this case. So let's go ahead and say while current.next. What we're going to do is we're going to progress the current pointer. So current is equal to current.next. And then we're going to check whether or not the current.next pointer points to the head of the list. So if current.next is equal to the input list head, then we know that we've come back around at the beginning node again and we can return true because we have a circular linked list in that case. Otherwise, if we go through the entire 
uh, list in this case and we hit null. So if this true statement, this return true doesn't happen, what we'll do is then we'll return false because otherwise the only other case in the case that we're thinking about circular or singly, it must be a singly linked list. So we'll go ahead and save that and give that a run just to make sure that we get true false. Uh, so let me try and run that there. So indeed we get true for the first circular linked list object that we created and then false for the singly linked list object. So that pretty much does it for this video. If there's any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them below as always. The code will be hosted on my GitHub page and the link to that will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.